Welcome back. Today I will talk uh, about amplitude integrated EEG in the neonatal ICU and I will try to make it as easy as possible. Uh, we usually use the uh, cerebral function monitoring or what's known as uh, amplitude integrated EEG for two main purposes. The first one is to judge the severity of neonatal encephalopathy and the second one to detect uh, subclinical seizures. So what I'm going to do in this lecture is to present the variant uh, presentations or uh, scenarios or scales to, of the uh, amplitude integrated EEG uh, in addition to presenting how seizures uh, can be manifested in the EEG tracing. Uh, this is the main uh, uh, graph of my lecture through which I will uh, go and proceed to talk about every trace in particular. In the left side of the graph you can see there are three categories normal, moderately abnormal and severely abnormal. What concerns us are the moderately abnormal and severely abnormal and this can be very helpful in cases of neonatal encephalopathy because you know when we have moderate or severe encephalopathy this is an indication to start therapeutic hypothermia so if you fail to recognize subtle seizures this might be a cause for uh, unnecessary delay of uh, therapeutic hypothermia in the right side of the graph you can see five different traces the uh, continuous normal, discontinuous normal, burst suppression, low voltage, and flat trace. To make things very simple, we will start by talking about only upper margin and lower margin of the trace. And this is what you need to memorize by heart. So, as you can see here in the normal tracing, the lower margin should be above 5 all the time. This is 5, and you can see the lower margin is always above 5, while the upper margin should be always above 10. Again, when the lower margin is above 5 and the upper margin is above 10, so this is a normal uh, uh, tracing and indicates continuous normal voltage. Now, in the moderately abnormal, we have two traces. The first one is discontinuous normal, and the second one is burst suppression. But what is common for the two tracings is that the lower margin will drop below 5, as you can see here. The lower margin dropped below 5, while the upper margin is still above 10 upper margin is still above 10. In the severely abnormal, both margins will drop. So the lower margin will be below 5 and the upper margin will be below 10. Again, to differentiate normal from moderately abnormal and severely abnormal, look at the margins, the upper margin and the lower margin. When the, when both, when the upper margin is above 10 the lower margin is above 5 this is normal when the lower margin drops below 5 while the upper margin is still above 10 this is moderately abnormal when the lower margin drops below 5 and the upper margin drops below 10 this is severely abnormal in the next slides we are going to talk in details about the five different traces. We will start by the normal uh, trace which is the continuous normal voltage. Here because we are going to talk in details we will mention five items that you have to go through. These are the ones in black so we look at the lower margin then at the upper margin then sleep wake cycle then bandwidth variability and last thing lower margin variability try to remember the normal readings because 
remembering the normal will make you able uh, to recognize the abnormality so we'll talk here about the this trace which is a continuous normal voltage look at the upper margin sorry the lower margin the lower margin as you can see it is always above 5 the upper margin is always above 10 usually the lower margin between 5 and 10 while the upper margin is generally between 10 and 25 now here we need to look at the third item which is sleep wake cycle in order to understand what do we mean by the sleep wake cycle look at this uh, uh, graph here during quiet sleep this is the tracing during quiet sleep and here during awake or active sleep when you see a variation in the tracing which represent differences in the sleep this is called sleep cycle and in this trace we can say that the sleep wake cycle is present so during the quiet sleep and during the awake sleep you can see or recognize this in the tracing here during quiet sleep this one during quiet sleep and this one during the awake or active sleep so when you see this variation you can say that the sleep wake cycle is present now look at the bandwidth variability you can see that the variability in the bandwidth here compared to here there is some variability but usually this variability is limited does not exceed 5 to 15 micro voltage while as you will see later this variability can change and become more or less as you will see later so here again the bandwidth variability is limited to 5 to 15 micro volts the last item to look at is the lower margin variability look at the lower margin how it varies indicating that the lower margin variability is present and it is wavy so the five things to look at the upper margin the lower margin the sleep wake cycle the bandwidth variability and the lower margin variability we will see now how these five items will help us differentiate the four common uh, uh, the four known uh, different tracings starting with the first abnormal tracing which is the discontinuous normal and this as you know is a type of moderate abnormal tracing so here we can see that the lower margin dropped below 5 while the upper margin is still above 10 here about the sleep wake cycle it is it cannot be recognized so it is absent and about the bandwidth variability is increased so you can see here very wide band while you can see here a relatively narrow band so the variability in the bandwidth have been increased while the lower margin variability is still present as you can see here so the discontinuous normal is abnormal in two uh, in three items the lower margin dropped below five the sleep wake cycle is absent and the bandwidth variability has increased the third tracing and the second abnormal is called burst suppression so let's go into our five items starting from the lower margin it is as you can see yes below 5 this is 5 and the lower margin as you can see is below 5 the upper margin is above 10 so by definition this is a moderately abnormal tracing what about the second item the third item sorry sleep wake cycle here you cannot judge on this but look at all the tracing you cannot see 
the uh, differences in uh, active sleep or quiet sleep. So this is considered as absent sleep wake cycle. Look at the bandwidth variability. In some cases it is low, in other cases it is going up. Sharp spikes in the bandwidth then followed by as you can see small bandwidth. So here you can see that the bandwidth variability is increased. And the last item is the lower margin variability. Although you can see that it's still not smooth, but uh, still the lower margin is almost flat compared to the previous uh, tracing. So here you can consider it as uh, absent lower margin variability. Now, to summarize, in bare suppression, in bare suppression, suppression, suppression uh, the upper margin is the only item preserved, while all the other items have been changed. We'll come now to the continuous low voltage. Continuous low voltage. What about the lower margin? It's below 5. What about the upper margin? It hardly reaches 10, and most of the time it is below 10. So this is by definition a, a, a severely abnormal a tracing. The sleep-wake cycle, clearly it is not there anymore. Bandwidth variability is still limited. So there is no much variability between the bandwidth is and uh, generally it's between 4 and 8 microvolts. And look at the lower margin variability, which is almost absent here. So this is the continuous low voltage. The last tracing in the severity, indicating the severity of the uh, encephalopathy is the isoelectric or flat line. Here, the lower margin definitely below 5 the upper margin also below 5 no more sleep wake cycle band width bandwidth variability is greatly reduced so it's generally between 1 and 2 microvolts and the lower margin variability is absent so these were the five major tracing that you have to recognize the as you remember in the first uh, uh, slide in this uh, lecture, we said that we use uh, amplitude integrated EEG in order to categorize the severity of neonatal encephalopathy. And the second purpose is to uh, diagnose uh, subtle or subclinical seizures. So in order to look at seizures, you have to know how the tracing will be. And this is how it looks like. You can see that seizures are categorized by a sudden rise in the lower margin, sudden rise in the lower margin, sometimes accompanied by a rise in the upper margin. So once the lower margin suddenly rises, this indicates seizure. For example, look here, then the lower margin was doing fine, and suddenly it is rising up. Now, this is very important because if you look here at the tracing you might consider that this is a continuous normal tracing with the lower margin above 5 and the upper margin above 10 and you may think that your baby does not need hypothermia but actually the presence of seizures here which is characterized by again the sudden rise in the lower margin indicates that your baby is having moderate abnormality and is in moderate neonatal encephalopathy according to Sarnot classification and this means that your baby is in need for therapeutic hypothermia. Status epilepticus the same but you can see here many uh, attacks of sudden rise in the lower margin which gives the tracing the appearance of uh, a so tooth. So there is continuous unremitting seizures for more than 30 minutes in duration, 
recurrent seizures without uh, regaining consciousness between seizures for more than 30 minutes as status epilepticus is usually defined and how does it appear on the EEG as a sawtooth appearance these were the abnormalities uh, in the uh, AAG that uh, every healthcare provider in the neonatal ICU should be aware of. So to summarize again, if you forget all these things, you need to remember the lower margin above 5 and the upper margin above 10, which indicates a normal tracing. Then if the lower margin drops below 5 while the upper margin is still above 10 you are in a moderately abnormal tracing which can be discontinuous normal or burst suppression and then the third category when the lower margin drops below 5 and the upper margin drops below 10 and here severely abnormal which either can be low voltage or a flat trace. Hopefully it was as easy as expected. Thank you for watching.